Hello everyone and welcome back to Crown Falls to Investor Mega City that we have now. And yeah, last episode we made quite a nice progress. We are a curious metropolis by the way, so peculiarity can be attractive. I guess that is a good thing, a good step up there we have. And we don't stop with the few investors that we already have. Of course, we have lots to upgrade and lots of upgrades we're going to do. And next block ready. This is pushing really our influence so much. It's beautiful to watch. Got a few stutters there, so I think we might be unlocking a few more DLC style along the way in the background right the now. Going up, time. soaring skyscrapers and cloud shrouded towers, elevators and iron frames set to revolutionize the skylines of tomorrow onwards and upwards go the citizens of our great cities fueled by the burgeoning retail market now that is something that we keep now in the background there he is um coming uh, to life and saying hello we are not doing skyscrapers right now i rather push for more investors and build up my other cities and other cities it is or well other um districts we have yes yes i'm going to accept this for now so this is another quest that we have now open for later on this whole district here will want to upgrade. We have lots of farmers, by the way, that we no longer need. So let's continue with the upgrading frenzy, um, as I like to call it. We have lots of timber anyway, and it's just a lot of fun really doing it step by step as we expand this city there we have some more as we can see we're now negative on the farmers that is fine though because we're going to add now more districts of it here now as i said the city is probably going to continue expanding into this area so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get rid of my lumber or timber production here we no longer need this one here anyway right and the city needs to grow still um, it's not big, yet, big, big enough yet, I think. So this is the next step. Um, and here, we do need this road here then, right? So this um, blueprint that I've already had. Um, we still have it somewhere here. Let's use it that way, actually. With already the paved roads. And we can then just continue here. So we do need to be careful how we place it now. I think that should be fine. Let's actually get rid of the old one. No one needs that anymore, nor does anyone need that one. And there it is. So it goes all the way then more and more into this whole area up there with this road system. Those guys here, of course, will probably still want their road connection, even though I think they were still working for some reasons. They shouldn't be doing that. And here we have then the connection. And we can now happily continue building the city in this area since now we know the distance, right, that we to the next major road then and there it continues and we are actually for the first time in a long time out of timber and almost out of bricks there as well now for the timber we are getting do we get the logs in logs do consume a lot of space we don't get logs in at the moment so i would like to use logs now as my next good uh, we've upgraded sales now i'm not going to use sales here anymore um, we have the bread still available and I think that's a good one because bread is plenty of and bread is very valuable when it comes to logs. So we can go ahead and say we trade 300 breads um, to get the, the logs that we need, right? And we're also going to use these the, the rest of the bread here to get the clay in that we need. And let's say uh, 200 uh, bread should be fine for that. So that's 500 uh, bread that we are going to need there uh, every time the trader arrives. Now, for my mm, propaganda, this time actually we can use quite a lot of propaganda again if we want to. I don't want to. We are only sticking with one newspaper now, and that's the minus consumption. And the rest can stay as it is. And we do have 126 influence as of the moment. Very good. So the logs are being transported now, and that means I only really need lumber, or I only really need those sawmills here. Those sawmills, let's push them a bit further outside. Right, so we can have three more here. I will definitely need to upgrade that warehouse there too. That should be fine as we continue moving away the industry from the city center itself or from, from the city there. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to continue building paved roads only. Unfortunately, that's not going to work out as we don't have enough bricks. All right, we do have some timber again. So this whole district, we could probably build now most of these buildings there as well. With that, we're, a farmer workforce is stabilizing again. This is as far as I can stretch the marketplace though. So I should not build any further. Um, for later on, we might be thinking about there some ornaments once more. So this is coming. And as we can see, we are really now merging the city then with this industrial zone there that has been active for quite some time now. By the way, 
These bakeries are producing so much bread. We need to keep them producing bread. Otherwise, they don't produce any chocolates. This is actually something that is pretty cool now as well. We have a chocolate surplus production. At the moment, it's stable only because the bakeries are no longer working. But it was actually going up there again. So we can actually be self-sustaining there with the gramophones and with the chocolates, just with the items that we have. I think that is really cool. Um, the cigars, though, that might be a tricky business there. Now, the center of my town has been empty for quite uh, some time now, for quite too much time. And yeah, it's time to build the Grand Central Park. So the one that we have here in the center of Crown Falls to really beautify that settlement to a new level. And this is going to be looking hopefully pretty cool. Let's start. We have lots of ornaments available for that, right? Um, here we have then the, the big, uh, well, hmm, it's actually a question where we should have the Central Park here. Or here. Nah, we're doing it the Central Park here, and here we're going to have then the town hall, for example, the World Fair, and some Christmas markets and stuff like that. So seasonal markets. The game has a lot of them already in this game, and yeah, the Christmas market would be one of them, I guess. For the mon monuments, I'm thinking about the skyscraper. Then somewhere in this center where we have then all the skyscrapers also combined, perhaps, or here somewhere more, and then also the Iron Tower. Ooh, no idea about that, and the Central Station. Godness, so many of them. Now this is a good location though still so let's go ahead and start with our uh, grand central park for that once again i do need some park fences and i would like to have uh, these guys here all around the park that we can have them there's a distinct the fire left ruins behind Ah, screw that we actually have a bigger park there like that one already as a in the city lights um dlc pack so why not use this one as the central point the clear water pool which is just looking fantastic really and around that we can have then certain um other parks as well Combine this massive pool in the center with some children playgrounds that we can have here as well throughout the park. So there would be one that we can have in this corner. What On the other side, mean? we could have one as well. They are going to be hidden quite well then in, uh, with all the trees then. We also have some drink snacks here that we could have around the pool itself, like this one here, together with a bakery, for example, where people can purchase something. And we might also do a pizzeria and a sandwich shack on the other side as well of this whole thing. And there we also have, by the way, more smaller sand, for, uh, sand pit and slides. So something for the children along the way as well, where they can play along. Of course, we should always have something for children. And hmm, what else do we have here? Yes, well, a ferry's wheel. So we can add one here if we want to and one on the other side at the probably same location, something like that, where people can just take a ride and enjoy the day in them. Beautiful. We can add smaller um, ornaments like some columns here where there's some perhaps, I don't know, something written on them. 
and also here. Don't forget that it's entirely possible to book a, a hot air balloon where you can then travel around the city if you want to and take a nice view. And for those of you that enjoy a bit of chess playing, we should also have a nice little corner where people can quietly and safely play their chests. So let's chess. So let's have some chess tables over here as well, right in the center of it all. What really belongs in every park are these smaller statues that you can find when you go through the park. So let's have a statue here. And I would probably like to have another statue a bit further over there. The Anno 1602 Memorial statue just outside. Perfect. Now the entrances to the parks are always very important. So we could have some lion statues as marking the entrance of this park. A memorial garden to perhaps, yeah honor the fallen soldiers in the wars that we've already had to fight so perhaps a bit further outside uh, not where we have the balloon though perhaps a bit further here we definitely shouldn't forget about toilet houses that we can add in the well we definitely should add that around the attractions And as a final touch, I would now put everything under one big central or city park. And for that, we use the NOM city center, uh, the city park um, ornaments mod that I can use. Um, and yeah, this is going to cost me quite a bit of cash. And with that, the park is finished. We might actually also add a few more things or remove a few more things later on but i think for now it's fine we do have these fairy wheels i like them a lot here in the town center and there's also a balloon it's of course not the new york central park but that was never my intention that's looking fantastic now perfect and we can now finally move on to well upgrading a lot of um building materials have been added over time while we were planning this park so let's go ahead and have a few more engineers on that side here by the way we still have 1200 artisans it's not that much anymore actually and i would like to upgrade more workers to artisans as well especially here as we continue oh there's some ruins again that i will need to attend to later on and those guys perfect we still have plenty of resources for more And I can already see my consumption rates going through the roof with all of that. Very good. And I'm actually running out of resources now. That was a major upgrade. And now we can just wait for all of those people to move in then, finally. And I can't wait to have them big skyscrapers here. I might actually put the ferry wheels away. I have no idea about yet. It's still fine. It's still fine. But we might need to do some adjustments then here as well. All right. Meanwhile, also some products are out like light bulbs. Why is that the case? Because of glass. We don't have enough glass really. I never thought that this is actually possible. Do we have sand though? We have a lot of sand. So it definitely is not the mistake of my sand mines, but rather of my glass makers. We still have three of them blueprinted. So I would like to go ahead and build all three of them right away. Um, in this process, I might then also upgrade my warehouse here to the next level. Because of course, there is going to be a higher demand for ramps. I don't have and can we boost them? Have we boosted them at all? Nah, that is just too severe that input i will also remove this boost here the swing machines are still keep because we just need a lot of them anyway also our latest fleet of cargo ships is ready we've built a few of them finally and we can finally use them for something well useful let's go ahead and open up our trade routes and i think i have just the perfect idea where i put them into my rum and into my coffee both of them are products that we need quite often and it's just a very good idea to well spoil this one here with coffee and with rum my city as we can see coffee is full in auspicious isle that should never be the case cargo ships can transport a lot of goods so we're going to need to increase the storage then as well let's add the first one herald which is on its way now my 
my trade chips are also on the way. So I'm going to mix them in now as we continue. And also for the rum, there's the sea eagle on that. And I'm probably going to remove one of these clippers here. This one and this one. While we continue to add more rum then to this block here as well. To also make this a bit more efficient. This one is on its way. Let's get the next um, cargo ship out there right away. We might need an oil tanker. My oil storage is looking rather fine though at the moment. Even though there's lots of oil being transported around. I've also commissioned another oil tanker because the two oil tankers clearly aren't enough. We are constantly capped here at 50 or 500 tons. That's actually more than one oil tanker can carry, so we need more of them. Uh, two more should do the trick here. At the same time, up here in Auspicious Isle, the timber and the bricks have arrived. With that, I can build up some more storage, which we should. Let's actually have the storage though on the other side. I hope that it can survive here. So I'm going to add us a couple of blocks here for additional storage storage capacity since we really really do consume or produce a lot of coffee on this island here uh, so much that actually yep those ships are full even the cargo ships are completely full there's more coffee and caoutchouc waiting than here we do have 168 tons ceasefire so the next one will not actually ended. wait oh my ceasefire with sean has ended once again i need to You're go with that again there you go not the first gamble that didn't pay that should do the trick for now. So more Ship coffee that we attack. can store. Also my coffee beans. Yeah, we are really full on them too. I might actually go ahead and build me some two more coffee roasters over there. We can't afford it. So now we are down on the Hona levels there completely. Let's go back to Crown Falls. Because in the meantime, I should be able, yes, to upgrade more engineers. And that's always something I like to do. Those blocks here. More and more influence coming in. Yeah, we still have a few. There is electricity lacking them. And in this corner here, we could also have a few more investors. And here. And that's probably all that I want to do for now. We have more and more buildings unlocked here as we speak. Um, and then more artisans to engineers. So that's these guys there. That we can continue to grow. Now we still have enough steel beams. I would like to go ahead and actually continue with my tracks as well. Since it's really not looking good to have these dirt roads here in the center. There it actually can then merge together with the, the network that we have coming from the industrial zone. So it's taking a full turn by the way. <laughs> and coming together again at the harbor area. And for that let's get rid of the roads here. Correct. And then here I need to cut the city in two for the moment um until at least we have the tracks built and there we make contact there is something in between here i think oh there's a crossing we need to get rid of that let's actually make this one new because i think it's not really good working That should do the trick going all the way up there. Oh, we do need timber for these tracks. Very strange. Ah, very good. But there we have it. The tracks have been built and is uh, also now going through the center here. And in, in these areas, we now just need to make then the crossing over it. Like so. And the same thing we can do then here. I think we can't go through the center there, unfortunately. But it's still fine. There we can make another crossing. And then we just have some normal paved roads here. That's again. And probably somewhere here a crossing and here. Very good. And then the only thing that really misses here is my temperate groves. And so also this side here has been finished. There we have those entrances. Let's also make some trees in this area. And the same can also be said now for this district. No more uh, dirt roads. So everything is brick roads. Once again, very expensive. Once again, a bit tedious. Once again, we are running out of bricks. But once again, very beautiful uh, res result at the end of it. 
I'm just going to finish those now. And then the only thing we now need is adding those trees once again. So in the inner courtyards, I usually like to have my elm trees. There is still something. Right. And then where it's a bit more visible, we are having some temperate growths as well. And a nice little fountain that we can also add in the center of this district. I guess we could do it the same with that and that. Also finish those courtyards there now finally what we still have we still have an avenue with dirt roads i don't believe that i thought i would be done for but unfortunately i'm not there you go you should not be having anything like that anymore beautiful result there is the city is growing nicely we are now at investors and from here on we continue stay tuned